And uh, I cannot wait to get the SmackDown ratings because they put Rock, they put him at the end of the show. And we talked about this last week. The thing with The Rock is it's hard to reel this guy in. You know what I'm saying? And once he gets going, he'll just talk and talk and talk and talk. And so last week they put him at the beginning of the show because he can just talk till he's done. And then you move on. It was 40 minutes of SmackDown. And what happened was everybody watched, and then as soon as he was gone, they all shut off the show. So then you think, okay, well, let's keep him to the end. Because when you keep him to the end, you do a better number throughout the show. So uh, so they, they kept him until the end this time. And the key was he didn't have to do a lot of talking. He did a little talking, but he only had to say, like, one big line. And then Cody slaps him, and they go off the air. And it'll be interesting to see how the show does, because... Uh, and this is going to be the highest rating for nothing happening in I don't even know how long. So at the end of the show, they start trotting these guys out at uh, like 935 or something like that. So first, Rock and Roman come down to the ring. Seven minutes and 30 seconds just for them to do a ring entrance. <laughs> then Roman stands in the ring for a long, long time. And then finally he says acknowledge us so then they hit cody's music and then they hit seth's music and they have a commercial and so there was literally 15 straight minutes of absolutely nothing but entrances and uh in two words acknowledge us and i expected to do like 2.8 million viewers for that nothing and then the the big angle at the end was you know they're talking back and forth And Rock wants to know if they accept the challenge. What is the challenge? The challenge is Rock and Roman versus Cody and Seth on the first night of WrestleMania. If Cody and Seth win, there is no bloodline interference on Sunday. So Cody can just go finish his story and nobody's going to run in from the bloodline. And that's the story. However, however, if rock and roman reigns win then it will be bloodline rules which is essentially they can do whatever they want they can have solo sokoa as the referee they can have jimmy try to ring the bell i mean they can do whatever they want and here's the key because this is an old school thing that they did they basically told you if you pay your money on night two you will see cody win the title Because Rock added the stipulation that I am on the board. I am on the TKO board. I own part of this company. I am your boss. I make the rules. And does this sound familiar? Let me tell you something, Cody. If you don't win, if you don't beat Roman Reigns, you can never challenge for this title again. And he didn't say you can never challenge Roman again. He made it very clear you can never challenge for this title again. So it's an old school thing they do in wrestling where they basically tell you, like, you know, if you pay your money, you're going to see this person win. So they've they've done everything except tell you he's winning. So anyway, that was the uh, main event segment. And then the big line was, uh, Rock says, uh, my, my Roman's grandfather is proud of... Of this, my grandfather is proud. Your father, Cody, one of my heroes, he is looking down, also proud. And you know, Cody, you're the youngest of three, aren't you? Your sister was a cheerleader for the Dallas Cowboys. That gets a pop. Your brother, first he says he's a Hall of Famer, then he realizes that he's actually not. He's a future Hall of Famer. And then he says, and you're 20 years younger than your siblings, right? Wait, stop right there. Can we do a split screen, please? Because as this is going on, there is a man outside of the ring in production that is desperately trying to let these men know that they have got to go. We got to go. Well, Rock says, because you were... We can do it, Jared. No, we can't. We Uh, can do it. Oh, hold on. Hold on. There we go. I'll start over again. You're the youngest of three. Your sister was a cheerleader for the Dallas Cowboys. 
Your brother is a future Hall of Famer. And you're 20 years younger than your siblings, right? Because you were a mistake. And when he calls Cody a mistake, the fans gasped. They were like, whoa. And then Cody, Cody's like, he gets that look on his face like, oh my God, I can't believe you just said that. And then he starts bringing the mic up like he's going to say something. And he's just, he brings it down and bam, he slaps a rock across the face. And Rock's like, oh, man, brother, it's not. And right then they go off the air. So it wasn't really like a cliffhanger because it's not like they're going to, you know, next week you're going to tune in and they're going to, like, be in the exact same spots. But I, I do think that, you know, if, you, if you're talking about, like, a, a segment that's going to drive people to social media to try to find out what happened after the show went off the air, that feels like one of those segments. But anyway, that was the main gist of the show because that's the main match. And I thought they all did a great job. Back in a moment, Observer Live. Hey, well, first off, I want to mention the uh, F4W convention is coming up in Vegas. It's going to be very exciting. It's that time of year. We look ahead to our annual F4W Observer Convention set for Vegas this May during Memorial Day weekend. Welcome current subscribers, past subscribers, friends, family, wrestlers, pets. Anyone else who wants to come along? I'll decide tomorrow about people on Twitch. As always, there's a lot happening starting on Friday. We've got an annual all-you-can-eat dinner at Texas de Brazil. That's a real highlight, let's be honest. Tejas. Meet and greet with, uh, well, we'll get with to meat. that in a moment. That, that's You're going to be eating meat. So there's a big meet and greet at the, uh, the Tejas de Brazil. Live, uh, uh, it, it's Texas, let's be honest. Live pro wrestling in the FSW arena as Ed once again presents Poder Seis. Actually, this would be the first time he promoted Poder Seis. <laughs> Sweet party with details to come, an annual brunch at the Wicked Spoon. And yes, this year, well, life happens. Dave is, is uh, he's unavailable that weekend. And so we will be doing a meet and greet and live Q&A for the first time ever, Brian and Vinny. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. How much is this costing you for Vinny to do this? Are you kidding me? He's blessed to go. But uh, buy your tickets, or it'll be the first and last. Put it that way. So we hope to see you in Vegas this May. You never know, it says, who might show up. Well, I hope filthy when he lives there. So you can either uh, go to my Twitter, X, at Brian Alvarez. It's stickied up there at the top. Or uh, the easy way is you can go to f4wonline.com. You ready for this? Yes. Slash Vegas. It's pretty easy. easy. F4wonline.com. Slash Vegas. What is it, Mike? F4Wonline.com uh, slash Vegas? Exactly. That's right. what it is. Yes. And Do you so ever feel bad that, you know, when people go to cage match and they look up promoters that they see the name Edward Laredo? I mean, do you ever, like, feel bad that you have unleashed Ed the promoter How many the times world? do you think I have gone to cage match, like... Nothing against cage match. They're all fine and everything like that. But uh, never once have I gone on there for anything other than a bit on this radio show. But because... So it did not bother me. But you have unleashed... I didn't unleash it. He did this himself. He did this himself. In I had nothing to do with, with any you, of this. Sir. No, that's this is not on me. Guess Vinny's surgery. Hernia surgery from carrying the Brian of any show on his back, Jack, for all of these years. Oh, get out of here. Penis reduction. <laughs> Short granny, surgery. Granny laugh. Granny. Removal of cyst near his left testicle. Oh my gosh. I think what? it's called your penis. <laughs> Sean, out. The John Holmes extension. The adedictomy. <laughs> this guy says gag reflex removal. <laughs> That's mean. He put a pork chop in his rectum. I think that you've been suffering from sore assesis. Seven days, you've been saving that one. <laughs> yeah. The fact is, I went to the hospital to get hemorrhoids removed. Pain, discomfort, and also being very, very tired all the time. It's dragon ass. <laughs> Greg, please. <laughs> hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today, and don't miss 